Hello, and welcome to another Astro One video presentation. When we look at our galaxy and other galaxies like it, one of the most prominent features we notice are spiral arms. How do these come into being? Are these physical arms which form as the galaxy spins, or are they more than that? To help me answer these questions is my assistant, Steven. Uh, please don't hurt me. <sighs> one theory about the origin of spiral arms is that they form as the galaxy spins. When galaxies first form, they may have formed with their arms straight out, and that as the galaxy spins, the arms wind up over time. But if this is the case, then we would expect to see some tightly wound arms in some galaxies, considering that the ages of galaxies are billions of years old. But we don't. If spiral arms aren't physical constructs, then what are they? Spiral arms are the result of waves propagating through a galaxy, much like you might see a wave propagating through a group of people at a sporting event. The wave is not physical. In other words, as it moves through the galaxy, material doesn't move with it. Instead, the wave moves through the material, displacing it momentarily, but not affecting its motion. So why do we see these spiral arms if they're not physical in nature? Let's find out! Here we have a group of students on the right representing a density wave. Astronomers believe that spiral arms are regions within a galaxy where compression occurs due to these density waves. As clouds of gas and dust, represented by the faster moving students on the left, pass through one of these density waves, they are compressed, triggering star formation, indicated here by the sheets of colored paper. Very luminous but short-lived O and B stars will die before leaving the spiral arm, causing the spiral arms to appear very bright and bluish while dimmer yet longer lived yellow and red stars pass through. Density waves actually move through a galaxy in a spiral pattern. Faster moving material which orbits the center of a galaxy will move into a spiral density region, become compressed, and then move out the other side, continuing its orbit. So there you have it. Join us again next time for another exciting astronomy concept. See you next time! What's that? Oh no! Oh yeah, that fucking is there for a reason. That's what I said.